Hi, in this video, we are going to start another form of state management that is server side state management. Earlier, we have already covered the client based state management and the different techniques on which we can implement the state on the client side. Now, here we'll start talking about the server side state management. So basically here we will store the information on the server's machine. So obviously when we will store the data somewhere on the server, so performance wise it may not be better than the client management, client side state management, but obviously the security on the server side will be higher. But the server resources usage will be higher here so we'll have to be very careful before getting started with the server side state management as extensive use of it may cause the degradation in the performance of server and obviously when you will read a lot of data from the server even the reading of data will take some time so we have to be very conscious before getting started with the server side state management in server side state management, we have a couple of options in which we can store the data on the server's machine and later that can be consumed by the website. So here we have the session state which will be specific for the user and the application state which will be common for all the users working on the website. So in our next video onwards, we'll start working with the different aspects of it and in the very next video, we will talk about the session state.